All right, boys. Woo. And girls, um, we got a fantastic twab. I think probably one of the best twabs that have ever, ever touched Destiny 2. Seems like they're trying to take a step in moving away from one shot, one shot, one shot by abilities. And they need to start doing with special weapons, but this is a good step. You know, hey, take take what you can get, all right? If you guys haven't read the twab, most of it is nerfing the heck out of abilities, increasing their cooldowns to astronomical numbers. It seemed like melees to grenades to class abilities, increasing and decreasing supers and sitting around the back of the map playing passive while you're running 100 intellect. They're really focusing on hammering out a lot of these things that one shot that are just abilities. I really like this change just because it's going to be forcing people to be using guns a lot more and that's what this whole twab was aimed at is forcing people to kind of get back in the mindset of this is a shooter you know abilities are supposed to be a little nudge you know to help you in a, and give you the advantage in a gunfight or maybe give you some information that you didn't need or maybe just make this situation a little more beneficial to your fave not supposed to be i throw my grenade in there and then i hit arc bolt and it wipes an entire team with six they nerf the hell out of shatter dive faces grenades they're no longer going to freeze. They're just going to slow people and they nerf the damage by, I believe, 66%. So you should not any longer be getting one shot by Shatter Dive. I'm pretty sure everyone's excited and happy about that chain. Handheld Supernova. It was in a decent spot, but now um, instead of it one shotting you, if you're in that range, it pushes you away. So you're probably still going to get one shot into a wall in small corridors and stuff like that. So look out. That thing just got a little more funkier, that whole subclass, because you already know the melee sends people flying. It's not in the description of that melee and it sends people flying so now the handheld supernova will also send people flying you can't one shot with shoulder charge anymore oh you can no longer one shot with shoulder charge anymore now to be honest with you in competitive play or trials you probably didn't get killed by shoulder charge a whole lot anybody that are playing at a decent high level in destiny you're not getting one shot by shoulder charge uh especially on like 3v3 you're running in a room of three people trying to shoulder charge and you're probably gonna get melted and die at high level this doesn't do a whole lot i will say in quick play for those of you just want to chill relax and not have to worry about some titan ape monkey just jumping on you shoulder charging and spreading on the mouth and smiling on the skull for it well it just got a little bit better along with that knockout whatever tree it is where you break someone's shield and you get in Increase melee range and melee damage you can just go around one shot one shot one shot one shot one shot that's gone you, it goes away after you get the first kill and i think that's a fantastic change because one of the dumbest things i think i've seen is some titan just running at you with a shotgun in his hand just meleeing everything supers basically they want to get rid of the people who are running 100 intellect sitting in the back of the map in trials waiting for their super so they can finish out this round and hopefully get it they want you to be active and engaging the more damage you're dealing and the more damage you're taking the more super energy you're supposed to get so i like that it's forcing people to stay in combat but overall guys um, this was a really fantastic swap i really like that they're getting away from abilities one shotting i hope they keep working towards this and that they are trying to focus more on gunplay now here is the truth is that with these changes abilities were no longer one shot they are still people still find more creative ways so that their abilities can do significant damage and still be a threat that's just what the destiny community does special weapons will become a problem right because now that when ability is not one shotting people are just going to start relying really heavily on special weapons I, I don't mind that except for in the case of snipers they nerfed hunter when you dodge you no longer break tracking for something like the work of the coil or the slova bomb um you don't break tracking for those things anymore so they it would still track you like a truth rocket um, and then they also nerfed the cooldown on both the dodges so it wasn't 11 seconds for gamblers and marksman dodge marksman dodge has been increased up to 14 seconds on the cooldowns that's three seconds gamblers dodge has been increased at the lowest tier you can get the cooldown is at 18 seconds so i think it's pretty clear everyone's gonna be running marksman dodge just to have that dodge back up as quickly as possible overall i just want to see a healthy game where it requires skill and it's not so much as people one-shotting 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 but abilities can be still be fun they still add like a, a unique element but not they don't dominate the game or like most of these things dominate the game but yeah today guys we got some awesome gameplay from trials we're running double hand cannon so check it out i know it sounds scrubby but watch the gameplay you're gonna see just how scrubby it is i actually put some time and thought into this loadout so check out the video guys i think you'll like it and let me know your guys thoughts and opinions on these changes you think bestie's heading in the right direction think he's bad think it's good if you're going to enjoy the video make sure you smack that like button and if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button for more 
Destiny 2 live streams and discussional topics. That's gonna do it for me, guys. I'm out. Peace. Priority, so I'm just gonna go. I guess I don't know. Sit here a bit. I got choked with this uh, last word shots. You are in the lead. I am not surprised. Thing on the map is heavy and my team did not say their challenge. One minute left, my dead. Only one enemy is left. This one was for your end. Next time, my friend. Opponent revived. Best of should just vacate it. There's no way you can really challenge that one without actually dying, so it's pretty stupid, I guess. Yeah.
Gdzie? 